Welcome back to another Draw With Me video. Today we're gonna do a postcard theme for my patrons and it's called Forgotten Gods. Over on my Patreon, we decide each month on a theme that I use for my uh, exclusive postcard that they get sent in the mail. And they also are invited to do their own version of the same theme and I will feature them in a later video. That will be in next week's video, I'm guessing, and then we'll decide on a new theme and it keeps going. And, and we've done quite a few of them and I think quite a few of them are on this channel as well if you're ever interested in seeing them. But the only thing is that I will never print them again, they're exclusive. To that month for that patreon group so yeah that makes sense okay so uh, forgotten gods is a bit tricky i don't quite know what to do but let's just skip all the rambling and let's get to drawing first off though i will be finding some references um i have actually no idea what to do forgotten gods uh, makes me think of american gods because the Forgotten Gods are like the Norse Gods and stuff and they are pretty cool and I kind of enjoy that. I was also thinking about making it mermaid theme, so it was kind of Forgotten Gods, Mermaid, Atlantis kind of thing. And to do that I need to tie it up with a theme, well a prompt from the prompt list that I'm following for mermaid. So I'm gonna look up what I can find. So the ones that I have left of the mermaid prompts are sea lion, coral, leafy sea dragon, clownfish, lachiloch, dolphin, betta fish, mora eel, mantis shrimp, dumbo octopus, anglerfish, and anything. So I know for the anything I'm going to do a um, whale shark, so I'm just gonna not choose that one. But leafy sea dragon sounds interesting to me, not only because it's flowy and pretty, but I don't know. Well, let's leafy sea dragon. That did not. I did not do that. Right. Leafy sea dragon. Okay, we'll just do that. Cause yeah, I remember seeing these, and they're so cool. And they have a few different species, or I don't know, I guess like variables of the same kind of. Oh, they're pretty. Okay, we might have to do this one just because it would be really, really cool. Like glowy eyes. Oh, that's pretty. I know that's like somebody else's art, but I'm still gonna look it up. Black and white and gold is always a favorite color scheme for gods. So maybe we'll keep that. See, Forgotten Gods, it comes up as uh, <laughs> um, the American gods. God old, maybe that'll help. <laughs> Like, you know, some something like that. That could be cool to, to, to practice, because I need to do that for Snow Cat Prince soon. Also, I'm sorry if you're anxious to see me, like, drawing, that I always, like, talk for so long in the beginning of the video. So try to shorten it down today, because I know I'm going to talk a bunch when I'm drawing. So, that one's cool. I like that. I like that. That's cool. Okay. I think I got something in my head. So this is my really cheap sketchbook. Um, I use it for just, like thinking. Uh, you've seen it a few times. I think every time I don't do something in my sketchbook sketchbook, I do it in here. So this is just me planning out my um, postcard. Kind of like Art Nouveau. <gasps> Art Nouveau! I love Art Nouveau. That would be really cool. Especially with the sea, seahorse. Sea, leafy sea, sea dragon. When we're learning like about stuff and um, like art history in my art history class, I always fell in love with Art Nouveau just because it was like pinup slash illustration. Well, pinup is illustration, but you know, like it's really the line work was just really pretty to me. <gasps> These colors, I'll take those, please. Well, I think we have our color scheme right there. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. I guess part of the fun with these Draw With Me videos are just like watching me figure things out. I think I've heard that before people said that. So. Sorry, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm just focusing really really hard 
I think I'll actually give her a beard. Is that weird? <laughs> All right, I think I got a, a cool sketch. I think I know what I want to do. I've elongated her face quite a lot because I want to kind of give her that weird feeling. I might even do it more like, like kind of like a lion's face, how it goes like that. Maybe like their ancestors were more, um, more fish. So that's what's going on here. I'm just excited to do like a, um, a piece that kind of look more kind of like a poster. I don't know. I'm excited for it. Uh, and I'm also going to do it on the proper sheet of paper, not in my sketchbook. Um, I did that uh, for like all of my um, mermaid stuff, but for this one, I feel like I'm going to do it a little bit more proper and we're going to do it correctly. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I am loving the sketch. So I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see a bit closer. I'm just, she's like, in my head, she's like a fertility god that we've kind of forgotten about because seahorses, I don't know. Maybe she's not a she, maybe it's a, I guess it's like a he? I don't know, because seahorses don't like the female make the eggs and they put it on or in the male. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what's going on here. They're the gods of the fertility. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really liking her face. It's not as dragon-esque as the one that I drew on my sketch. Um, and like, I love all like the flowy uh, bits of leafy things going anywhere and, uh, and, and the everywhere. And then the frame and everything. So ah, I'm happy. Okay, I'm very excited to do my line art i'm not sure what to use though like i feel like using a colored pencil and i think that would be more visually striking as well and i was gonna look at my my um, 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 color reference as well because it was mostly pink and some gold yeah it's like green pink and yellow which i find really pretty so if we do like a dark green or like a light green like a dark green all right we're gonna start talking and start drawing. I'm excited. Hopefully, she turns out nice. It's gonna be like a tedious, very, very, very tedious lining process though. With all of the details in this piece. <laughs> it's gonna take me forever. So I'm really, yeah, enjoying it. And I'm going to probably ask my patrons if it's okay if it's, this one is in the art book because my my um, postcards are usually like exclusive to my patrons for that month like I will never print that again but I'm thinking since it will be an art book and not a print it will be different maybe? I don't know, I'll have to ask them but yeah, that's another thing. Like I've decided to do an art book of my um, mermaid pieces. I hope <laughs> I'm gonna see what I what I feel like when I finish them all. But a lot of people really want it, and I thought that could be really cool, a cool thing to do anyway. Um, just collect all of them since they're quite like finished pieces. They're not just like sketches. Well, kind of sketches, but you know what I mean. Just keeping the flowiness of like the Art Nouveau style that I wanted to kind of. Sure. I really like the green. I think it works well with like the red on the sketch as well. It makes it seem very, very, very soft. Also, to everyone who's like curious about what's happening with Snowcat Prince, is I haven't talked about it in a while now. I'm still working on it. I'm working quite hard on it as well. If you're on my um, Instagram, I might be showing more like stories and stuff. But I'm pretty much getting up at like six every day to like work on it. So I work on it from, oh, that's been like the last two weeks now. I've been getting up at um, 
at six, and I work on snooker prints only snooker prints for four hours at least, and then um, I have lunch and then I do other things. But it it really helps with like scheduling. Um, I was having trouble before like finding time to do it. Like now I have to sit down and do this from like. 12 but I found out that my um, productivity was better from like the beginning of the morning when it came to like my comic so that's what I started doing so I've, um, I decided to just keep lining instead of like switching between doing um, colors and stuff because before I was doing um, mostly, I was doing two pages a day, so two finished piece, pieces a day, which I was I thought was a good idea. And then I realized that like the energy needed to do each of those things are different. So when you switch over, you spend energy switching over to do color and then <laughs> final color, and it's a whole thing. So I I have decided that I'm gonna find that a circle thing. Checking this. <laughs> So I decided that um, it was better just to do as many lines as I could do, like line pages, and then I can go back and color, and I will have a different um, energy for it. Or like... Hey, so yeah, that's what I'm doing currently. I'm trying to just line all my pages, and I've lined up to chapter four. So I'm almost done with chapter four lines. I've lined all of chapter. Three, but not colored all of it and then yeah no it's um it's coming along but you're not here for snow cut prints you're here for this piece so i'm gonna stop talking about it right now for those who don't, don't know okay i'm gonna talk about it a little bit more but for those who don't know um snow cut prints is my current big project uh, so last year it was this, the gray legs and this year it's the Snowcat Prince, and it's a comic and not just a children's book. And I'm aiming to have it done in late summer, I think. So I am, uh, I'm excited for that. Um, you can see some videos about it here and there on my channel. It's still coming along. I have not failed yet. <laughs> okay, honestly, I'm having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> this is really fun. It's just a lot, a lot of flowy shapes that I can kind of have fun with. <laughs> this is like my guilty pleasure. Flowy, pretty things. Uh, for those of you who have watched this long and have never watched one of my Draw With Me videos before, I pretty much chat and, and, and draw for like 30 minutes. Well, it's longer for me, but you know, 30 minutes for you guys. And uh, it's meant to be background noise or or just like something slow to watch instead of all the, the fast stuff. So you just use it for wherever you want to use it. I don't ser I still seriously don't know what to do when. Uh, oh. <laughs> When Mermaid's over, because I've been loving it so much. Um, given like the last few times, like I started like stream, like my last few streams, I haven't felt too good, so it's been hard to do the mermaids. Um, but like I've always had a theme to work with, which is which is really really fun. I might do. I know there's a unicorn June thing that people have been talking about. And that will be cool. I am going to do a, at least a video about it, but um, not probably going to do a drawing a day. That's a bit much. <laughs> I'm kind of making up stuff as I go as well. I'm not completely following the um, sketch. That just keeps it a bit more fresh, I found. My hand's hurting though, because I'm really pushing hard to get the lines nice and strong and flat. This is why I've been using the um, 8B pencil, because it's been really soft and I didn't really need to push very hard to get nice lines. 
but this one, my god. I'm just having a lot of fun. There's so many details. <laughs> I'm just focusing so hard to make this nice. I just love stuff like this. This is so much fun to do. Okay, I still need to do the frame, but I'm kind of going to keep the frame very simple because it won't need very much. Sometimes I feel bad about having like the postcards like exclusive to Patreon because some of the art I really really like. But then sometimes I'm I'm fine. I don't know. I'm I'm <laughs> not sure if I want to give her nostrils yet. Okay, I'm gonna um, go all around and line the edge. And I'm gonna do it freehand because I like the look of the freehand. I almost had a scare where I thought I hadn't recorded all the line art and I was so mad for just like a second and then I figured out that I it was fine. <laughs> We're good. I'm just gonna have a box between here and a box between here, but I want to put it in there, and I know. Okay. So. Oh, that's a bad circle. Circle, and that's the whole piece. <gasps> oh, I'm excited! I'm excited! I'm excited to do the watercolor. I'm oh, so excited. <laughs> Oh, I haven't been this excited for because this just lifted my mood today. I wasn't really happy about any art for like two days. And then now I got this and I'm happy. Very, very happy. Like it could be sharper. Like a lot of the lines are kind of smudged when I move across them. But I also think that it'll be fine. And it's also kind of nice soft. All right, colors. So. She's uh, pretty big, so I can't really <laughs> I'm trying to fit things, but I think it better best just be zoomed in like that. And um, I have my brushes. I don't have my water. But when I clean the palette, but nothing else. I'm going to use my color reference that I showed earlier. So I'm going to have this muted cool green, but I can add more of that later. I think we'll just make that color we need. So I'll use my green which is too green so i need to mute it down try this one Maybe brown i think mm. even that's too Hmm. Seems to be some sort of something in my paint, and I don't know what it is. But I think it's alright because I want this to look kind of old anyway. Maybe it's the paper. Maybe I've messed up the paper. Huh. I'm not managing to do it quite flat, but I don't know if I actually mind. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it anyway. I haven't done watercolor on watercolor paper for like a month, so it feels really nice actually. <laughs> I 
feel like I have a lot more control than... Well, I don't know. It feels, it feels different, but it doesn't feel that different, you know? From my yellow sketchbook. There we go. Seems like my paint's separating, so it's actually making it more green as I went along there. I didn't notice it until I put it down. <laughs> Just have to keep going. So that color is hard at watercolor, isn't it? I'm trying to get one smooth layer. Unless you like it small. Small, then it's fine. But like big pieces like this one, it's hard, man. I guess now she looks less crowded, which is a good thing and a bad thing because I really liked how like detailed it looks. It's funny when you add color to, to things, it can look less detailed than it did before because you're flattening it, like you're, you're removing all the white space so you separate things so they look less busy. But I don't mind, I quite like it anyway. Alright, so next step I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably the color it's ever, uh, that's going to be i might like make it darker but for now i quite like it um let's look at but i think we're gonna add some pink next to where i want the pink to be so here's my <laughs> really bright pink I know I keep saying she, but I honestly don't know. <laughs> I'm just following my reference and looking at where she's like more purple. I am going to show the references on the screen while I'm, I'm doing this so that you can see what I'm following. I wouldn't do this in like blind. <laughs> that would be really scary, so it's better. Better to have a plan or at least some idea what I'm doing and to get that I look at my references. I am going to add more um, yellow ochre on top of this later so I'm gonna mute some of this down but I thought it would be good to at least start with a lot of pink. Adding in the pink also also like pushes the white of the stripes which is not just stripes they're like they pop out of the skin, which is interesting. So by adding the pink, I kind of make sure that, ooh, it looks like it. Well, thank God we're not using that part. <laughs> like so. And then there is yellow in this le leafy sea dragon, but I am going to look more on the reference. Let's have a lot of nice, ooh, this is green. <laughs> Not only because I love those colors together, but also because um, the reference says so. <laughs> I forgot to scan the line art again. I was going to do that. Oh. Quite like that. And there is like a... Um, brown green as well that I'm gonna add in is a bit darker than the background so yeah I'll definitely go over this with another um, line art pass probably with a darker color just to push can you even see that? I'm using it down in the border. We're gonna add a second color over that to make it darker. I don't know if I want to add more color to things. Um, I think I am going to add the uh, yellow to like the extra lines that I've done in the background, like these ones. And I'm gonna add more of those everywhere else. And do that everywhere. Just add some nice lines here and there. I'm 
the eggs that she's holding. So they're going to be like yellowy here. But then there will be the dark kind of purple. Like I don't want to add more color. I kind of wanted to be this faded kind of art. It's um yeah, that's what I want. But like usually I love adding so much contrast and stuff that it's weird trying to stop myself from doing that. I also just like this pale color scheme a lot. <laughs> Everything is very messy, but I still love it. Let's do it this way so I can control my hand better. I'm excited to finish this as well because I'm going to go outside and have ice cream. It's finally summer and I have this nice little patio area now in my garden that I built last weekend. So now I can actually sit and chill in my own garden, which I've lived here for like one and a half year. So um, yeah, I don't have anyone to blame but myself <laughs> for not having that until now. There you go. Oh, I'm gonna add a second layer of green around this though. I quite like it. <laughs> I'm having really a lot of fun. I'm gonna just do a brown green again and just add that in a few spots that I feel like I'm dark enough. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. So I had this crazy idea while I was just waiting for that to happen. I have this gold pen and it's quite dark and I think I'm going to clean up some of the lines with it and uh, it might be a bad idea and it might be a very good idea. So I think it will just work as a line art tool, I think. See that's pretty cool already. At least I can use it like around the forms. Probably not going to use it inside. It's just to separate certain areas, kind of like the Art Nouveau pieces. I quite like that a lot, you guys like it a lot. It's gonna take a while though because this pen doesn't like the watercolor paper. Just have to go back and forth. All right, I personally think that really helped with the line art because um, the line art had disappeared quite a lot from also the watercolor. So I'm going to do just a few more like add-ons here and there. I'm probably not going to use any colored pencil for this piece because I don't think it really needs it. Um, just like these tiny little things here and there. Hopefully this, this scans well and uh, when I print it for my patrons, it doesn't doesn't look too bad. If I'd scanned in the line art, I could have done like a thing where you get it like actually gold printed. That's the whole thing. Okay, maybe I need to go around like this. Never done line art with a gold pen before, so this is new new territory. Well, that did take like a good half an hour, didn't it? <laughs> Getting around all the details. Like, even though it's quite faded, I think that kind of adds to the charm of it. Um, and kind of the old school feeling of it. I, you can't see the shine of the gold too badly, too much. Uh, and I think that's fine. I think that's, that's cute anyway. And uh, yeah, I think I'm done for this uh, month's theme postcard which was a uh, forgotten god so she's uh, clearly a forgotten god and uh, she's a mermaid M M I can't even mermaid mermaid kind of yeah <laughs> 
I think I'm too tired at this point to talk and I also think I'm too hungry so I am going to go and get myself some food. Hope you guys enjoyed this draw with me, I hope you were drawing with me and if you want to do the Forgotten theme, well Forgotten Gods theme as well that's fine. Um, only my patrons will be featured though in next week's video and I'm excited to do that because they do a lot of really cool stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it as always and uh, yeah. Tell me what you were drawing while you were watching this and tell me what I should call her. What is the name of this god? Because she doesn't have one right now because I don't know what to call her. So give me a name, please. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.